Welcome to Security Check and our BT11 8 deck best of one mini tournament. These are the 8 decks we liked the most. New, new yeah, newish, refreshed versions of the decks that came out or got big changes in BT11. Yeah. Today we will have uh, the Mervamon Rush facing off the Cross 7. And then we are moving to gameplay. Uh, this is best of one. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> best of one. It has. The, it has. It was played on first take. Usually, yeah. usually we try to find good match, good games. Yeah. But here, you can have bricks and stuff. So. Yeah. We wanted to have the uh, authentic tournament experience. <laughs> yeah. And best of one still sucks as a format. Yeah. Never forget that. Yeah. Uh, so, but we don't have the time and time to play it best of three so yeah especially this time when we wanted to record all the videos yeah uh, in one day actually <laughs> yeah it was a pretty hectic <laughs> hectic day yeah we were in rush and Mervamon will be too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, this Merva rush deck I have here is this is one of those things that I talk in the earlier videos that this is a proof of concept basically yeah. because this is a really basic bare bones version that I just put together and we have like Merva Rush list uh, there was one Merva Rush that topped to the top turditude the or even better I'm not sure in the European finals yeah. I think and there's like oceanic finals where there's like Merva Lilith loop yeah. thing uh, and stuff like that. What uh, finals was in BT10? Uh, Latin America. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And Cross won that somehow. I don't know how. But <laughs> uh, it's it's a good deck. It was a good deck. It's still a good deck. Uh, Cross Seven is so different from the Cross Five version we are used to seeing in earlier formats because. It's it has more things to uh, pressure you, but then there's no security bombs, there's no crimson places or uh, sunrise busters anymore. Yeah. Cross Seven is a pretty, it's a pretty, uh, it's a really good card, and it gives uh, gives cro uh, cross decks this almost unrivaled deletion effect. <laughs> yeah, because it can basically delete anything you have on board if you have the full or almost full stack. Yeah. Here, making sure what Minervamon does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah. Oh, or I, I knew what it do did, but I probably read, read, it, read it, it out loud yeah. to my opponent. Yeah. This is the only video in the... Uh, or only deck that uh, we're not both playing, or what was I trying to say? Cross <laughs> is the only deck that neither of us are playing. Yeah. This is his own cross deck. Yeah, because mine was in Germany yeah. at the time. Minerva, uh, Minerva, Minerva. Minerva Mon is actually a really interesting and good card against uh, the cross, cross heart deck if, yeah. they, if they don't get uh, rid of it with like X7 like immediately. <laughs> yeah. Because when you play your stuff, uh, Mineromon will let you play your stuff. Yeah, and I have the new blue blue Mineromon. Is it blue yeah. Mineromon? Blue Mineromon. In inherited, inherited that is all turns once per turn. You get gain a memory when you play a Digimon yeah. by effect. Is Ignite Moon only your turn? No, it's also all, all right. turns. Oh, that's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh well, yeah. That that's why some people play it in Cross also, or uh, I guess it's more in Merva Cross. Yeah, it's Merva Cross thing. Yeah. I'm not so familiar with the cross decks, yeah. or especially with the purple ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my brain cells don't have the capacity yeah. to this, this handle purple. This my version is it's kind of like it's a Mervarush with the loop, 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 engine. loop engine there. If you get uh, get to the like, you get that like. I uh, this is an interesting point because I was like, why do I use the Ignite Mon? from my field when I have Ignite Mon in the uh, trash. trash yeah. But I wanted to play the Ignite Mon to get a blocker out. Yeah, true. Another Because it out. was a suspended Digimon. Yeah. Then you get your memory back with 
uh, Ignatman and yeah. Blue Merman. I don't know why do I need to point with my middle finger. <laughs> I don't know either. I have been watching it uh, for a few hours in my days of editing our gameplay. Yeah. It's fun how you see something you do and you didn't notice it. <laughs> yeah, it's really strange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is not the best uh, game for Cross because he didn't uh, draw that good. At least now he haven't drawn anything to save himself. Yeah, and for anyone thinking Soul Moon is actually 6000 DP because it gives all retaliation Digimon plus 2000 on both players' turns. Yeah. So it could block the Dormon and not die. And you thought you would not play it? Uh, at yeah. The first. Yeah, and probably Soul Moon is one of the cards that probably won't get played in refined Merva Rush lists. I really like it. The 2000 DP is really good. Yeah. But. Uh, I have seen those lists that probably cut the Solmons to get the Gingakumon engine there. Yeah, that's true. For example. Oh, that's so nostalgic. And, and Dark Lizardmon is better in a better in a sense because it gives you the on deletion draw one trash one. Yeah. So you get to go through your deck. True. <laughs> Minervamon is sitting on the field against the cross is just <laughs> absolutely stupid. <laughs> Do it. Do it again. And here we had a little bit of confusion what he can actually like delete. Delete because uh, Ignatmon does not have buffs. Yeah, we first we thought it had buffs, then it, uh, of course it yeah. doesn't have buffs, and but they, then I get it play, <laughs> played again because... Yeah, because uh, Mir- the Dorolomon comes to the field, activates its effect, destroys Ignatmon, then uh, Minervamon activates yeah. and plays it back. It, it basically, whatever you want to delete, yeah, it comes back. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. And now I have six attackers on the field against one blocker and three security. Yeah. So... Uh, it was not the best game for Cross. Yeah, we were we were expecting actually the Cross to make to the finals against something. Yeah. But probably BBGX. Yeah. We actually moved them on the other side of the bracket so they <laughs> wouldn't be against each other in semi-final. Probably the semi-finals. Well, that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it's not a spoiler anymore to say that Cross ain't winning this game anymore. Yeah. Because all his South Mons and were like, here. <laughs> like some good players here could see lines that would save him in this situation. Yeah, but but to be honest, there's a f- almost five minute cut where cross yeah. players is thinking, what are my outs? And he comes to the conclusion he has none. Yeah, and I was standing uh, behind him and saw his hand and uh, went over his trash. And I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's something like he has all the Zenjiros in his hand or something, and or no Ballista Mons. Yeah. Something like all Akaris and stuff like there, that. There was no way out of that, yeah. in my opinion. And here's the... Very first draft of Minerva Rush. I just put this together, like mashing Minerva loop things and Minerva Rush together. Yeah, it, but it's, it's a fine deck. It's a fine deck. It's a fine deck, and there are already good deck lists for Minerva Rush. And I will be refining this towards probably more towards me, pure Minerva Rush and no the loop thing. But I will yeah. probably oh probably will try the loop thing too at some point because but in a different build. Yeah. yeah, and here's the uh, cross heart deck list. It's it's good. Cross heart is good. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the Kiriha anymore because, or I never was, I guess. Mm. But it's just it's a memory setter. But I don't know if the cross needs memory setter because Taiki Kirihan is really good. Uh, but what am I to say that I'm not so good with yeah. uh, cross? Yeah, why why isn't the uh, shouldn't you just play the secret attack plus tie? Uh, that's my take, but I would only play the uh, trio tamer and then three tamers without any more. Yeah, tamers. There's so many tamers in this deck. Yeah, maybe you, you could the, play. This is prob- the X7 list is probably the tightest fit. To- yeah squeeze anything in it. Yeah, you could play even a Sunrise Buster uh, 
in place of Kiriha, I guess. Yeah. The one of Sunrise Buster is. I think actually that the fact that like Merva Cross and like, like there were Axe 5 rushes and stuff like that too, they probably have a little bit more leeway in their deck building that they can like add more tech cards and yeah. like good, this, good this one is the, and this is the one one build basically well maybe the dx is uh, a thing that people are not yeah. sure of I, I guess there, there are a couple of slots here like maybe kiriha even, and dx yeah and maybe even uh, shot monkey yeah version. but uh this is pretty standard list yeah, but we are so beginning at the format. Yeah, uh, the good part of the like the whole cross heart thing, as much as I don't like cross heart as a <laughs> basic uh, as an idea, it's a it's a good thing that you can play cross heart in so many different ways right now. That Belsamon way to win. <laughs> <laughs> that like uh, it gives you uh, like ways to innovate, ways to play differently and it doesn't get that stale because you have different kinds of cross hearts. Yeah. But uh, what's your de deck list for cross heart? Would like to know. Uh, and tell us what did you think about uh, the video. We have many other videos <laughs> coming and on the channel already. Uh, check out the Blockhouse Games link down in the description. If you buy something, it will help the channel out. If you buy over 80 euros, you will uh, get 5% off your purchase. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, all that good shit. We will see you at the next video. Bye. Bye.